Hey guys, it's me, Christina. So, I'm trying now to remember if I did the video. But I'm I'm doing this thing called, you know, as a challenge that I'm challenging myself. Um, it's for a reboot. Rebooting my body, mind, and soul. And um, I found out that well, you know, I already have heart failure, but I found out that I have high cholesterol. And how? I don't I don't know. I'm going to get it double checked because I don't know. But regardless, this was the kick in the butt to eat the way I know God has been telling me to eat. And I'm kind of a nerd. And I like to research things. So... I started really just, and I had searched this stuff up before, but I really started learning about food and nutritional values and the things that really feed our bodies and the, the things that, you know, have no nutritional value, but, but that we eat because of an emotional attachment to. And I'm on day three of no sugar, uh, no processed or added sugar and um, no um, fried foods. Basically, um, basically what I'm doing is, is eating like a, a pescatarian, more so a vegetarian with the addition of a little bit of fish and every now and then chicken. No eggs, um, no butter unless it's the fake plant butter because I can't have that because of the cholesterol. Um, mostly olive oil. And I'm having to reinvent my menu. I'm having to reinvent my cooking. I'm having to um, fight of the... Um, The feelings I have towards food, sometimes it's hard for me to eat anyways. Either I just forget or I get and I have these days where I just like, food is just like, ugh, I just don't even want to eat. So, and because I'm cutting some of these things out, I have to eat more. Um, because it takes more of the fruits and vegetables and things to fill you up. So I have to make sure that I'm eating more regular um, <clears throat> to stay on top of everything to make sure that I'm healthy. Now, if I could stand tofu, I would just be a vegetarian. But I also need fish for the omega-3s for my heart. Um, so I was just like, you know what? I just need a reboot I need a reboot of my body, of my mind, of my spirit. Like, I just need a total reboot. So, I I looked up this um, scripture writing challenge to go with it. Um, and this is day three. No sugar. Um, now... I eat fruit, of course, and there's the natural sugar in fruit. Um, I try not to eat things that are super sugary, but, you know, I need the potassium. Like in a banana, I need the potassium. This is my breakfast, by the way, part of it. I need the potassium in a, in a banana. I need the vitamin C from the oranges. So I'm doing my best to eat the rainbow and introduce myself to new foods that maybe I wouldn't otherwise touch because I'm picky. And the pickiness isn't so much not wanting to try new foods or the taste, but it's the texture. Um, I have a horrible, horrible gag reflex. And um, I'm really adverse to different textures that I just, it just throws me off. And so I have to work really hard to get over that because my I'm limited <laughs> my choices are limited now so I have to just get over that and I truly believe that God is going to meet me more than halfway 
And if I'm faithful to, to do it and to put my best foot forward and try, I know he's faithful to help me and to heal me. So um, what this reboot ha has looked like is all processed sugars. Um, any, no added sugars. Um, and no, and no process and no added sugars. No sugar unless it comes from fruit, organic, like natural fruit. No other sugars. Um, and no fried foods. <laughs> like my taquitos that I love. Um, so... No fried foods. And basically, um, basically, I am like pescatarian, which is like kind of like vegetarian plus fish and chicken, which I will probably more so eat fish. I love tuna and salmon. So I just got to get creative in different ways to cook it. <laughs> Um, and I know some people think, well, I just wouldn't do it, but I know what it feels like to almost die, to be not sure if you're going to live anymore or not. That scared me so much that I am never going back there again. So if I have to give up certain foods that I love and work hard and find other foods that I will learn to love, I will do it. Because that's what my body needs. I will do it. And I will be obedient. And. It's not easy. And it's tough. And it takes willpower. And it takes. The fruit of the spirit. Self control. It takes self control. And the more I'm studying. About different foods. And their nutritious value. And I'm. And I'm learning about um, my favorite foods and what they do to my body. Like, I'm really getting in studying the macro and the micronutrients. I'm really, like, getting in there and just learning because that is my best weapon is to just learn. Like, I've already done a study on what sugar does to your body. Um, but I'm really just like learning, like not only what foods are not good for me, but what foods are good for me. What should I be eating? So I'm taking an omega-3 supplement um, and I'm trying to just feed my body whole foods. I know it's not going to be sustainable forever and, and there's some times where I'm just going to have to eat some um, canned food or... You know, something else. And there may be the rare occasion, like on Thanksgiving, where I'll have some turkey. And maybe like this much stuffing. And just like fill up on the salad and just eat a little bit of the other things. But um, not with sugar though. Um, there will be no cheating with sugar because I know how hard it is to come off of it. And a couple of years ago, I went off of it for a year and I was doing so good. And then I was like, oh, just have a little bit of piece of cake for Christmas. Threw me right back into my sugar addiction. And here we are today. But if I would have just been like, no, let me just not. Um, it would have been better for me. So in the first, you know, a uh, year or so, I'm going to do, like, sugar-free, like, sugar-free candy only for the times where I'm like, oh, my gosh, I need some chocolate. Um, and a sugar-free cake for my birthday instead of a, you know, sugar cake. But I'm going to try to get, um, use fruits and, like, dates and things like that to get my sugar fix. Um, and I know people that say, oh, that's not good for you either, but do you know how many people eat dates? Like dates was a is a huge part of mid Middle Eastern diet, and they are healthy. So it's pick your battles. 
Um, so the more research I'm doing and the more that I'm looking in the word and I'm seeing these things that, that scientists are proven to be healthy for your body. And these are the things that are listed in the Bible that God made for us to eat. And I'm thinking like, okay, God knows something here. It's not easy. It's not easy, especially when you're around other people that eat whatever they want to. But it's beneficial. It exercises your 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 willpower. And it exercises self-control. Um, so I there are several kinds of people. There are people that can eat sugar when they want to and cannot eat it and are just like whatever, like my husband. And there are people like me that are, are addicted to it. And it's like, I need something sugary every day. Um, and so for people like me, it's just not good. This is not good. I, and I just need to totally just take it out. Um, and I need to start cooking more often. I need to start learning new, healthier recipes. Because here's the thing. I deserve this. The body that God created for me deserves this. And I'm never going back to that place again where I thought I was going to die over some food. I, I'm not going to kill myself over some stupid food. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Um, so I think that the high high cholesterol thing, even if I have it. I think this was just the kick in the butt that I needed to help me to get over that hump and to really do it and not stop playing around because I play too much. <sighs> so, the first couple of days I was thinking, oh, I can never have this again. I can never have this again. I can never have this again. And God's like, that's not going to help. <laughs> Change your mindset. Change your mindset. I'm not going to have this again. My asthma is going to go away. My allergies are going to get significantly better. My heart is going to get better. My body is going to feel better. The fatigue is going to leave. The, um, the brain fog is going to leave. So whenever I start to feel bad for myself and say, I want that, I want that, but, but I want my health more. So, I'm sure I look like a weirdo going through Walmart being like, poison, 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 that's poison, I can't have that, that's poison, that's poison, because I'm trying to get it into my mind, that is poisonous for my body, that is poisonous for my body, I, and my battery's only 15%, so, I just thought I would just talk to you guys a little bit um, about what I'm doing, the update, and I know nobody wants to hear this, but we have to take care of our bodies. We have to. We only have one body. We only have one life. And how are we to do the thing God called us to do when we're sick? And there are some <clears throat> sicknesses that just happen upon us just because they happen upon us. Maybe it is in our genes. Maybe it's, who knows. There are some things that just happen no matter what. You can be the healthiest person in the world. Like, look at me. I was eating healthy, drinking water, not eating sugar when I got heart failure. It was because a fluke virus. That got into my heart. It was a totally a fluke thing. Um, and. The doctor said that. Me eating healthy. And exercising at that time. Is probably what saved my life. And it's not fun. Our flesh totally hates it. But it's what's best for our body. And that's what I have to tell myself. 
So if anybody wants to join the reboot challenge, just let me know. I'll send you the scriptures for the um, scripture writing plan. And yeah, would love to form a little group of support of supporting women um, or men or whoever. Just a, a, I would love to form a little support group where we could just support each other because it's not easy, especially during the holidays. OK, so, you know, every Thanksgiving, my mom makes me a banana cream pie and it is delicious. So. I'm going to tell her, do not make me a banana cream pie this year. Um, unless you get sugar-free banana jello and the sugar-free thick crust and all that stuff. Um, that's the only way I can have it because I'm not doing it. So, I'm going to have to, you know, I'm probably, what I'm going to do, because my dad has diabetes, can't have sugar either. So, for Christmas and Thanksgiving, I'm probably going to make a big sugar-free um, pineapple upside down cake for me and my dad. So while they're eating all their sugary stuff, at least we have something. So it's worth it to do the extra work to make the adjustments to be healthy. And that's it. That's what I wanted to talk about. Um, I want to be more active on Facebook, on Facebook and on Instagram. I want to be more active. Because I, I took off until January for school. So I want to be more active on here and on there. I want to share my Bible. I want to, you know, I really want to get back into my art. Um, I want to share my guitar if that's something you guys are interested in. Like as I learn new songs. Or actually I'm writing a song right now. I used to do that a lot. So just let me know what you guys think. It. Oh, we're only 17 minutes. It's not too bad. Uh, let me know what you think. If you want, if you want information on on foods, if you want information on what different foods do for your body, or let's say you have a particular illness and you want to know what foods help that, I can look it up for you because I am a research nerd. I am not a nutritionist. I have not gone to school, but I can help you do the research. So, um, if you want, uh, I'm going to put together some recipes, some juice. I'm going to do some juicing, um, and I could put together some recipes and stuff like that if that's something that you're interested in. All right. God bless you guys.